As per your letter requesting for some support towards a very major and an important project the school intends and bank on. That is the fencing of the school. I will want to associate myself fully with that from its inception to its completion. And so to start with, I am donating 200 bags of cement so that the project can kick start. And, and we will monitor the molding of the blocks and then the logistical support needed for the molding of the blocks can equally be supported so that we can have the school fenced like the other schools that are in this district. Currently, your counterpart at uh, the girls' senior high school, St. Catherine, is in the process of completing the four parameter. And then the uh, sugar school and several other uh, uh, schools, including the one being built at Gebetato, uh, the new E block that has also to be fenced. It is not just for the fencing, but also to instill discipline among the students and to prevent them from loitering around the town when they are expected to be in school so that they can equally uh, undertake the exercises and the reason for which they are here. Uh -huh. So um, I want to give you all the assurance so that uh, any time as you did not hesitate in writing to me, do not hesitate at all in requesting for further support in that regard, so that we can make sure that at least the project that we have started actually comes to uh, completion, because I really intend uh, supporting this uh, uh, wonderful uh, agenda being pursued by the school and uh, the entire management. Thank you for this opportunity for the uh, donation. Thank you. God bless you. Our Honorable MP, you are even lost for words because you responded promptly. We least expected that the, our request will be granted in such a short period. I'd like to assure you on behalf of school management, the students, staff, and even the board, that the donation you have given, those bags of cement, will not remain in the room and cake, but we're going to start molding the blocks immediately so that we can start fencing the school, especially where the encroachment has started from. We would like to start from that place. And I would also like to appeal to you to sensitize the community. I don't know how you're going to do it, because when we start this project, I know there's going to be a lot of um, negative reaction. Since if going to the old site is going to deny people access, to the way, because it has become a thoroughfare for people to be moving up and down. Once we start, the community will not be uh, happy that we are denying them access. But we have to do this to protect uh, our students and the entire community. Because at times, it's sad to say that some of our students are attacked by people from town. But the police also are helping us. Our girls are being harassed when they sleep because sometimes the weather is so hot that they need to raise their curtains at night. These town boys will even go and be peeping at the girls through their uh, windows. When we told the chief about this, he also helped us to keep some of this bad behavior. So with you coming on board, we are assured that we can start this project and end it well. Thank you very much. God bless you. The head district made 
this I, I mean, known to me was I had interaction with her in the office, and that had to do with uh, uh, the sand needed for the molding of the blocks. I mean, that was what you said. Other than that, probably the technical department would have started by now molding these blocks. And so I want to give you two truckloads of uh, cement. And that, I think, will be supplied either today or tomorrow. Thank you. So that uh, in earnest, at least, you should start whatever you need to start or whatever logistics that needs to be mobilized for the technical department to enable them to start the modern of the blocks or to just begin. If my doors are wide open, just in case of any other matter you may want to read with me, do so. This time around, I think I want to focus on that step. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. 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 Yeah, yeah. Thank Your graph, uh, the gradient, and all those. How do you explain it in their everyday life? I mean, in the cemetery, somebody stretches his arm and picks up the load. Okay. The force with which you are picking it. Definitely, you know, you should be able to. So, I should be able to. I'll come. I'll come. I will come and meet you so that we talk. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you belong to both. Oh, the wrong person coming up. But you're the wrong person. I mean, no, this is not the right place. No, 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 no. Wrong, 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 wrong person, my young. Come here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Okay
This is the Skokom town. One uh, pavilion. Students are studying under uh, this pavilion because of lack of classroom. So. If you don't have that, yeah. Oh.